Once again, you are welcome back. So this is the fabric I'm working with. I'm going to use this flower material. This one is two years. And I'm also going to use this hair fabric. This one is one year. So you can buy any pain material of your choice. You can buy lycra or you can use like crepe material or this satin. So this one is one year. So everything I'm using now is three years. Now first thing to do, I will start cutting from the front part. So I fold my fabric like this to cut out the front side before we now move back to the back side. So after folding it, I'll be taking my measurements. So the length of the ground I'm working with, the full length is 42. So now I will start from the shoulder side. So from the shoulder, the shoulder is 17. The shoulder is 17. So I will now divide this 17 into two. It's going to give me eight and a half. So this is eight and a half. Then I'll come down by one inch for the shoulder slant. I will slant it. Before I now move to the ammo side. So my ammo side is your boss measurement divided by six. I will now add one and a half to it. So this is the ammo side. Now I will use the I use the formula to shape the amo. This is the amo side here. Now, so after this, I'll be taking the bust measurement. The bust measurement I'm working with is the bust measurement is forty eight. So 48 divided by 4, so I'm going to have 12. So I have to mark the 12, yes, this is the 12. Then I add like one and a half seam allowance. Or I can add like one because this fabric is stretch, stretching, so just add it, add the little bit allowance to it. And the waist measurement I'm working with is 46. So 46 divided by, by 4, I'm going to get something like um, 11 and the waist measurement, sorry, the waist measurement is 44. 44 divided by 4 is 11. So this is 11. This is 11. Then I have like one and a half also for the same allowance. Now from the waist level now, I will move to the hip side. So from the shoulder side to the bust line is 11. This is 11 here. And to the waistline is 16. That is the half length 16. But to the hip line, because I'm going to work with the upper hip here. This 21. So now, from this 21, I'll be taking the hip, hip measurement, which is the hip measurement is 52. And the quarter of 52 is 13. Then I'll add same allowance to it. So this is 13. 13, then I add this little. Now I will shape it like this. Now, this is where the three step is going to be taking effect. When you look at the style on the thumbnail, as you can see, let me show you the illustration pattern so that you guys you understand better. This is the shoulder part. Look at the first step. As you can see that there's, in the upper chest here, there's yoke that is already shaped here. Shaped so I'm going to shape this side out from the upper part level. Before I will now move to the waistline. So this is what I, I'm talking about. Now, here I'll be taking the measurement of the, the neck. So the neck width now is three inches. So this three inches and the deep, the deep is going to be like three and a half. Then it's going to be the upper neck. So it's going to be high neck, not too low. So here I'll cover it. 
can use a free hand or you can use a cup ruler. Then you now plant the shoulder part here. You plant your shoulder here. Now, from the shoulder level now, this is where the first step is going to take place. You know, it's going to add the yoke. So from that shoulder line now, I want my yoke to be like, be in seven and a half, depending on your choice, can make it to be eight. So this is where I'm going to slant the yoke now. But from the Amo side here, just your Amo, my Amo is nine. The nine divided by two, that is four and a half. So from here, I'll cough. From this side, just move forward like this. Cough your, your yoke. So this is the yoke. So this is where the first step is take place. Now, moving to the waistline now. Like I said earlier, that from the shoulder to the bust is 11. From the, um, from the bust to the waist, this is the, that is the half length, which is 16. To get the second effect, you can see that this shape starts from the upper hip ear. So you can move down like just five inches from the waist to the hip side ear, or six inches, depending on the height of the particular client. So now I'm working with this. So this is where I want the, the, this half effect. As you can see, because I'm going to create this sign, this, this, this planting line, which is the one that formed like V here. So from this side now, this is where I'm going to start shaping. So depending on your choice, I can, you can. So now, from this side now, where the, the upper hip side here, where I'm going to slant this. You know, I said from the shoulder to the upper hip is 21. And, and I want to use that to 12 inches for the slanting part here. So this is already 12 now. Now, what I'm going to do right now is just slant it here, directly like that. I will slant it from the hip side. We just slant it like that. So to make that slanting effect, so this is it. So mind you, you know, like I said earlier, I said I'm working with the 42 length. And I'm using one yard of fabric, which is 36. All the length of this one now is 36. From this to that here, downward here, is 36. So why I'm doing this, to know the exact measurement of the material you're going to use to join the, to fit it in the dance side there. So now, you know, you cut out this one now. You are going to take away that 21 from the, the 42. When you take away 41, when you take away 21 from the 42, you are going to get 21 exactly. So we just add like one inch to it for the dancing and you know this thing. Just add like one one and add to the plain fabric there. Because before I cut it out, I have to explain this one. So you are going to notice that the exactly where the second step is take place because you, you, you cannot just go down to the east side here before you cover this. That thing will just be somehow, so you have to target the upper hip here before you cut it out. So that is it. Now I'll be cutting, I'll be cutting it out now. Because by the time you measure this side, by the time you place it back, you get your the hip measurement. You know, I already get my hip measurements from this side here, so I'm just placing everything is going to be placing, so I'll just cut it out here. Cut out the neckline. So I cut out the next side also. Then the so that part here yeah, is not as well. So this particular yoke, I will now cut it out. Now I'll use the yoke now to cut out the flower material here. So I'm going to stop here for now. So I use this tube to cut out the, the flower material. Then I also I use it to cut the pieces side in the dance side. I use it. I just cut out the 
No, 42 minus 21. I have 21 left. Then I add the same allowance to it. So I can make it to be 22 or 23 or so. So let me do that now. Now, back to the front side. So I just play the front part to so the back side like this, directly like this. Then I will now place the, I will place the yoke back to it to cut out the back. So the only thing I will just, I will leave like one, one inch or one and a half inch for the slip allowance here. Invariably next time you can place it first, before you cut out the yoke, you can place it on the back and cut out the back first before you now cut out your yoke, but all the same. Now just place your yoke there and cut out the back, exactly the way you cut out the front like this. So. <laughs> Also. Then for the next side here, when you get to your back, so you just leave like one inch or one and a half inch for the for the which side in, the, in your neck like this. Just place it like this and mark it the same way you mark the front. And the depth is one and a half or one inch, depending on you want it to be. Just chip it like that and cough it. Then this is the seat side here. So this is the seat allowance. I will just open that side for the seat allowance. This is the yoke for the front, this is the center front, and this is the back piece. So now, the downside here, I've already cut it out, so this is it. So it's going to be in two pieces like this. So I'm going to use this one to do the pitting. After joining the both side, when I join the front and the back side, when I join the take the bust measurement, the waist measurement, and the hip measurement. Now I'm going to place this one. I will place it around like that. I will gather it up and pick it. But for the center side here, I will just I can notch it so that for you to know the center part, I will notch it. So, also not the center front. So by the time you want to put it, so you know how to manage your material. Anyway, if you have enough, if you have enough material, you can use more than two years for this particular flower material. But because this is all what I have, so I have to manage it. So for the yoke side now, the yoke piece. This is your piece. I use it to cut out the the flower material, like I said earlier. So now that I've cut out the yoke side, then I add half half inches all through. So what I'm going to do now, I will place it back to the front side. I will place it like this. Then I will stitch it. So after stitching it, then I will use the bias to pipe the next side like this. I have already piped the back side. So I will use bias to pipe it. I will pipe the back and I have already inserted the seam. So I will do the same thing to the front side. I will use bias to pipe it in. I will now join the shoulder to shoulder before I will now be taking the body measurements. So I will do that right now. Now that I have joined the shoulder part, and I'll take the necessary measurement, bust, the bust measurement, the cutter of the bust, the cutter of the waist, and the cutter of the hip. So right now, the downside now, you just pleat it with the material. I will be pleating it down like this. I will pleat it all through. 
to roll it down to pieces. They now give it a difference. Now, after I pleated it, as you can see, this is where the third step is going to occur. When you measure from the shoulder to this side, there is 42. This 42. But when you move to this center side here, it's longer than the both sides. So, you are going to trim this side. You measure the actual measure that you need. You need. You just measure it like that directly. Then you're tracing it. So you get your 42. Then you, you just leave one inch. You add one inch to it for the seam allowance. So that is 43. So you are going to mark your 43 all through like this. So you now cut it out. So that everything will be in the same level. You mark out your 43. Or oh, yes, if you just wish to leave it like that, the center part will just be longer than the, the both side, the side measurements. So it's advisable if you are working with the largest body like this, you can buy like up and on like two and a half material so that you have more fuller in your pleating. Because this one is two years. So you need to cut it out. So now you now take your, you use half inch to seam this side here, the down side here. So now, I cut out the sleeve. So this is the band measurement. Then it's cut and I cut it. I just place it along this side. And I'll fold the down side there. I just fold it like half an inch. So now place it. So if you find this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe.